Hi, Jude Boulay from Norris CrossFit, and we're at the time of the year where we're approaching the holidays. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, followed by Christmas. And during this time of year, many people take this as a time of the year to splurge and indulge themselves in Thanksgiving dinner, pies, Christmas cookies, Christmas candy, um, drinks, the whole nine, with the intent that come the new year, they're going to make a resolution to make themselves a healthier and happier person through fitness, diet, and exercise, the whole nine. And most people fail at this. So why is that? So I'm going to tell a little story first before I get into some strategies to help you make sure your New Year's resolutions do come true. So this is a story about Henry, Henry Peterson and Georgetown football. So way back when, when Georgetown actually had a good football team, they had one of the best coaches in the country named Lou Little. And there was a player on the team, he was kind of the Rudy of the era, his name was Henry Peterson. And Henry was the practice all-star. He worked harder than everybody. The coach even described him as the glue which held the team together. And Henry never missed a practice in four years. And this one year, Georgetown was probably the best team I had yet and was in the state championship game on Fordham the following Saturday. And Henry walked into his coach's office and he said, Coach, I'm not going to be able to be there for the game on Saturday. And the coach was like, why not, Henry? And he's like, my father passed away on the services of Saturday. And the coach was like, Henry, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, if there's anything we can do, we'll do it for you. We'll put your father's initials on our jersey. And we're going to win this game for your dad. If, a week later, day of the game, Coach Little, Little walks in. And there's Henry at his desk. And he's like, Henry, what are you doing? I thought the services for your father were today. And Henry said, Coach, you said how you asked if there was anything you could do for me. Well, I want you to start me today. And the coach is like, Henry, this is the most important game of the year. I, I promise you that, but I, I can't do that. And he goes, Coach, please. He goes, if I miss one assignment, if I miss one, if I drop one ball, if I do anything wrong, you can pull me. Coach is like, all right, Henry, I can, I can take that deal. That day, Henry Peterson went on to run for 240 yards and scored three touchdowns, helping Georgetown beat Fordham and win the state championship. At the end of the game, Coach Little came up to Henry and said, Henry, why didn't you tell me you could play like this? And he's like, Henry said, Coach, have you ever met my father? He's like, well, Henry, I saw you walking with him arm in arm around the field a couple of times, and I'm really sorry that I never went up to introduce myself. He goes, well, Coach, my father was blind. And today was the first day he could see me play. What this story shows is that with purpose, anything is attainable. So as we look forward to the holidays and we look forward to our New Year's resolution, having a sense of purpose is an important part of your commitment to make yourselves a better you come this new year. I never I always never looked like this. At one point in my life, I was 270 pounds. Most of my life, I was overweight. And one year in grad school, one day, I had low self-esteem, low self-confidence, and I was, had a pretty low self-opinion of myself. And I hated feeling that way. And one day, by chance, I asked a girl out. She said yes. The next day, I thought to myself, I never want to look like this naked in front of her. So I had a commitment and a purpose to lose weight. I went to the gym that day and four months later I had dropped 50 pounds. To this day I maintain my weight loss while many people put it on because I keep finding myself new purposes to live my life as healthy as possible. And originally it was for a girl and for better um, for better self-esteem. Now, then it was because I never wanted to be that person I was. And now I do it day in and day out for my children. I want to be there for them as they grow up. I don't want to be sick. I want to be able to be active. So I have a greater sense of purpose to maintain my physical well-being. So as you look upon the holidays and as you look upon making these New Year's resolutions, Make a commitment to yourself for the changes you want to make, but also find that greater sense of purpose, that overlying thing of why you're doing what you're doing, and commit to that, and always look back at that, because it's that sense of purpose which is going to push you through those tough times and help you accomplish your goal. 
And once your goal is accomplished, maintain that sense of purpose of why you want to maintain that goal. Whatever that purpose is, it's individual, but that's what helps you and maintains and drives you to reach the goals that you want to reach. Thank you for listening.